Hello, my name is Thomas Doherty. I'm Head of Public Affairs for Nations and Regions at which the Consumer Association. And we're delighted to be supporting the Consumer Council's Northern Ireland Consumer Week. And what we're doing today is just going to share some of our recent findings of some polling that we carried out at the end of last year of consumer attitudes in Northern Ireland to a range of consumer issues. COVID has had different impacts on the personal finances of different savers in Northern Ireland. In line with the UK average, just over a third of Northern Irish households said that they have been able to save more over the past year than previously, whilst just under a third, a 30%, said that they have saved less or even had to make cutbacks on their spending. However, the breakdown along household income categories is far starker in Northern Ireland than anywhere else in the UK. Almost 60% of households with a combined income of £69,000 or more have told us that they have saved more, whilst more than 40% of households with an income of less than £14,000 have found themselves to be left worse off. Consumers in Northern Ireland are amongst the most pessimistic about the, about the future health of the economy and their own household finances. Along with Scots, consumers in Northern Ireland are the most worried about, the, about where the household finances will be 12 months from now. And in addition, Northern Irish consumers are also the most concerned about where the UK's economy will have recovered by the end of 2021. Consumers also need to trust the businesses they deal with and how industries have responded to the pandemic has certainly affected this. For some businesses, it has been an opportunity to strengthen their relationships with consumers. For example, consumer trust in the food and groceries industry has, has risen as people seem to be broadly happy with the sector's response to the, to the crisis. However, trust has fallen substantially in airlines and holiday operators and in social networks such as Facebook, with the latter being the least trusted industry of those we asked about, both in Northern Ireland and throughout the, the UK. Moving away from COVID, we also asked consumers what other issues they were worried about um, over the coming year. And concern about the long-term impact of Brexit was scored as the biggest non-COVID worry amongst Northern Irish consumers. Seven in 10 Northern Irish consumers said that they were worried, which as you can see, is significantly higher than the UK average. At the other end of the spectrum, food safety standards scored the lowest in Northern Ireland, as indeed it did across the UK. And we believe this echoes the, the rise in trust in the food and groceries uh, sector that we talked about earlier. Broadband and telecoms become increasingly important over the last 12 months. In Northern Ireland, 62% of people said that they often use their home broadband for communication with friends and family, and six in 10 said they were using it often for entertainment. The type of use that has increased the most as a result of the crisis is, un is unsurprisingly working from home. With three in 10 of all Northern Irish consumers reporting they often use their home broadband for working from home, though this did vary by social grade, as those in the higher social grades were considerably more likely to be doing this. Similar levels of usage of home broadband for these activities has been seen across the UK, although consumers are in Northern Ireland are on average a little bit more likely to be using it for entertainment purposes and a little less likely to be using it for administrative activities compared to the rest of the UK. While more consumers are switching from cash to digital payments as a result of the COVID crisis, cash has remained an important payment method for many people in Northern Ireland, even more so than the rest of the UK. One in seven Northern Irish consumers told us that they use cash every day with a further four in 10 using the payment method at least once a week, 
which is significantly more than the UK average, where it was only one in three. Cash usage is higher amongst less well-off consumers, but across all Northern Irish consumers, only 3% of people say that they never use cash. So we've analysed data from Link, the UK's largest cash point network, and that's shown that one in five, 22% of free-to-use ATMs in Northern Ireland have disappeared in the past three years, whilst there's been an increase of 78% in the number of pay to use or surcharging ATMs in the same period. And our research has previously found that conversions from free to use to pay to use have been more common in rural areas and those areas of Northern Ireland that have greater levels of deprivation. As sustainable consumption has become an increasing concern, we decided to examine the attitudes of Northern Irish consumers to the issue of sustainability. Most say that they are worried about sustainability, but that they, that, but that they often encounter barriers when trying to buy sustainably. The biggest barriers we found were price and availability. But in addition to these, three quarters of people who've tried to buy sustainably said that they couldn't always understand what the sustainable choice would be and more than half, 54% of people told us that they didn't always believe the green claims made by companies. This implies a need for clearer and more trustworthy information about the sustainability of goods and services. 